Okay, we're going to find a, a linear approximation for a three input variable function f of x, y, z equals the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared at the point 1, 4, 8. Okay, keep in mind uh, the tangent plane generalizes to any number of variables. So the tangent plane equation that you're used to is if we put it in terms of the linearization, it's L of x, y is equal to, uh, if the point of tangency is x naught, y naught, z naught, it's the partial of f with respect to x evaluated at x naught, y naught, times x minus x naught, plus the partial of f with respect to y evaluated at x naught, y naught, times y minus y naught plus z naught, which is the same thing as saying f of x naught, y naught. So this guy is z naught. So how could it generalize if it has three input variables? Well, we would say L of x, y, z. I guess you could call it w or whatever you want to call it. You could introduce a dependent variable w. It doesn't really matter. Um, the input variables would be L, uh, uh, I'm sorry, the input variables would be X, Y, and Z, uh, or could be anyway. They could be anything you want them to be. But if you want to generalize this equation, it makes sense. Uh, so then we would take the partial of F with respect to X, evaluated at if the point of tangency is X naught, Y naught, Z naught, you, that's where you would, that, those are the values you would plug in. Okay and then times x minus x naught plus the partial with respect to y evaluate at x naught y naught z naught whoops times y minus y naught and then a third piece would be the partial with respect to z evaluate at x naught y naught, z naught, times uh, x, I'm sorry, z minus z naught, and then you have to add in the plus w naught, or which is, is the same thing as f of x naught, y naught, z naught. So add that in on the end of that. So basically, it breaks down to finding the partial derivatives, uh, which actually isn't as hard as it sounds. So remember, this is our function. So if we want to find the partial with respect to x, it's going to look like this. Um, it's going to be um, 1 half times the quantity x squared plus y squared plus z squared to the negative one half times 2x by the ordinary chain rule, the derivative of what's inside that square root with respect to x is just 2x. But then if you rewrite it in fraction form, the 2's cancel, you just end up with x over the square root of x squared plus y squared plus uh, z squared. It looks like I lost an exponent right there. And then by symmetry, you can get the rest of them. f sub y at x naught y naught z, or x y z, I should say, is y divided by that same square root. And then Similarly, um, f sub z would be z divided by that same square root. Now, remember what we have to do. We have to evaluate each one of these at the point of tangency. So if you evaluate each one at the point of tangency, so I'm just going to do it right here, here, in here. So uh, what's the point of, uh, of tangency going to be? Um, well, the inputs will be 1, 4, 
and 8. Z, uh, x equals 1, y equals 4, and z equals 8. So evaluate each one of these partials at 1, 4, and 8. And so if you do that, you'll get on top for the uh, f sub x, you'll get, of course, 1. And then if you take the square root of 1 squared uh, plus 4 squared plus 8 squared, I think you get 9. So you get 1 ninth there. And then for this one, then you would get 4 ninths when you plug in these values. For this one, you would get 8 ninths. And then it's just a matter of filling in this tangent plane equation. So if you do that, you should get that L of x, y, z is equal to 1 ninth x minus x naught, but x naught is 1, plus 4 ninths times y minus y naught, but y naught is 4, so y minus 4, plus 8 ninths times z minus 8, plus the function evaluated at 1, 4, and 8, and that turns out to be 9. And if you multiply all these out and combine like terms, it works out real nice. You end up with 1 ninth x plus 4 ninths y plus 8 ninths z, and all the constants uh, cancel out. So you end up with this is your linearization. So that's the linearization, and then there is a second part to the problem. It asks you to evaluate uh, this, this number here, but of course that's just the function with x equal to 0.98, y equal to 4.02, and z equal to 7.99. So essentially that second part asks you to find or estimate f of 0.98, x equals 0.98, y equals 4.02 and z equals 7.99 and so what's going to estimate is that is the linearization we just found so that would be L of those values so 0 0.98 4.02 and 7.99 and basically you're going to fill those values in, in the tangent plane equation and you should get something around um, 8.997, and I, I think the 7 is repeated. So that should be a good approximation of the function at those values of x, y, and z. x equals 1, y equals 4, and z equals 8. Um, why is it a good value? Simply because the input values are near 1, 4, and 8. That's it.